Hey everybody, welcome to the Wisco Butter Channel. My name is Chad, coming to you from my living room today. It is a very chilly morning outside, about 23 degrees or so early on a Saturday morning. And uh, it is March, inching closer and closer to spring getting here and launching the boat. I'm going to work on a couple things on the boat canvas, on the camper canvas today. And one of those items is to uh, try and replace the seal the, the padded seal, I'll show it here in just a second, around the bottom of the Isinglass. And then I've got a couple of tears in the screen that I'm gonna try to address without putting a patch on. Um, I have this idea that I might be able to fix it with super glue. I don't know if that's gonna work or not. I'll show you either way. So here's what I'm talking about with the, uh, the uh, padded seal that goes around the bottom of the Isinglass. And now this is the the uh, section of the camper canvas that is comes right up off the windshield. So it's the front three panels. And this is uh, just old, cracked, gross. Just over the years, the sun has just beat down on this and uh, made it very, very, um, it's not really brittle, but it's just, it's all, I mean, it's all cracked still still has some flex in it but it, it, it just looks disgusting so we're going to replace that this is my plan to start out with anyway is to use some heavy duty uh, mounting tape as well as some um, weather strip this is a weather seal from uh, m and I this is from Ace Hardware, Auto and Marine Rubber Weather Seal. So my intent here, my plan, is to use the uh, the mounting tape. I'm gonna, it's an inch wide, so I'm gonna split it lengthwise, make it about a half inch wide. I'm going to cut off the padded portion here, leave the stitching, and then I'm gonna lay down strips of mounting tape onto this uh, nylon that's left behind. And then on top of the mounting tape, I'll put the weather strip on. The main thing is, I just really want this to look better. We don't get a lot of rain and wind up in Dora County, but there are some storms that come through that would be nice to have a little bit better seal on the, uh, on the front windscreen here. So I'm gonna start by using an X-Acto and just trimming off the padding here. And then I'll start working with those two and uh, there's three panels to work on. And then uh, we'll get to the screens. They're very, the screens, uh, let's see. Well, I'll show you which one's the worst when I get to it. There it is. There's a tear right there that I'm gonna try to fix without using a patch because I hate how patches look. But anyway, I'll get to that later. Right now, let's work on getting the weather strip put on. I'm gonna start by, see if I can adjust this a little bit better. I'm gonna start by very carefully using the X-Acto and not, and I know you're not gonna be able to see this. All right, so I'm gonna take the X-Acto and it's a brand new blade, so it's very, very sharp. Cut there, and then see it almost it cut almost all the way through. The reason I gotta be really careful here is obviously I don't want to cut into the Eisen glass, which or the uh, nylon the canvas, which is right behind it. So that's what I'm gonna do. Just leave this much behind. I'm gonna put mounting tape right here. That way it can still flex a little bit using the left behind nylon. And I'm going to do that all the way down until it's all cut away. Just like that. Okay, so I'm not touching the stitching and I'm leaving a little bit of a flap of nylon here. So I'm going to use about a quarter to a half inch of mounting tape and then stick the uh, quarter inch wide or three eighths inch wide 23 64 wide 
Anyway, nine millimeters, it's about three eighths. So three eighths inch wide weather stripping um, across here. So let me get this all cut away and then I'll come back and uh, show you as I get started on the, with the mounting tape. Okay, so I got the uh, padding cut away and I've taken my X-Acto and just run a line all the way around the first couple layers of tape here. So I'm going to unwind the tape and start sticking it down. Just like this. And I'm gonna try to push the nylon down as I go. And this this stuff is super sticky, so I'm hoping that it will stay in place. And I'm just gonna go right over the snap for now. I'm gonna cut that out later. That way I've got some tape around the top side there. And I'm gonna get to a point here where I'm gonna have to uh, cut, make another cut in the tape. Because I could only get about three layers down. Because even with a new blade, this stuff is so sticky. The blade just didn't wanna go any further. Any deeper, I should say. Oh geez, yeah, this stuff is so sticky. All right, I'm gonna stop right there because that is a zipper. Okay, you can see the, the tape cut in half, worked great. So now I'm gonna cut around each one of these snaps. Again, being very, very careful not to go too deep because I don't even want to scratch the canvas. So I'm going to do that for each one of these snaps and then I'll peel off the backing and then we'll put down some weather strip. Okay, I've got the piece of weather stripping cut to the correct length. And again, I'm going to just lay this down right over the top of the snaps and I'll cut out just the bottom portion of this double, um, double D. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Uh, and then I'll, that'll leave the top, the top one to uh, perform the actual seal around the, uh, the snap. So let's peel off the uh, backing for the Gorilla Tape. Man, the backing is super sticky. There we go. Okay, now I've got two strips to peel off on the weather stripping. All right, I'll just set this down right on top of the Gorilla Tape. Going over the top of the snap. Make a cut around the snap. That way, I will still be able to, I might cut a little bit of an angle here. And here. So that's how I will uh, clear the snaps. I'll still have, I'll be able to push down um, and compress that right into the uh, top of the windscreen get a nice seal all the way around and it's it's on here solid it's that gorilla tape is really a good good hold so here's what that's going to look like with the brand new seal on it 
that's going to that's going to be great. It's going to turn out awesome. I'll show the completed uh, project when I'm done with all three panels. Here's the finished product. From one end to the other, I've got the uh, Isinglass laid out on the couch here. I did leave some of these uh, older foam spots here just because I didn't want to get too far into the stitching. So everything came out really, really nice all the way across. Now I do expect that at some point in transporting this in the next couple of months, that uh, some of this might come unstuck. If it does, stick it back down and uh, maybe use some spray adhesive or something if I need to. But uh, I think this will work really well overall. Now I'm going to try and address this screen issue right here. And then there's another one right here. So, the center section doesn't have a screen that just gets rolled up when it's nice out. So two little, uh, two little tears in the screen. Let's see what we can do to fix those. So here is my idea for trying to fix these little tiny tears in my screens. Now the screens are in really good shape overall, but at some point before I own the boat, this camper canvas I'm assuming probably wasn't used for an entire season, maybe more. And you can see right here, there is a bend in the, in the screen. So somebody folded this up and it probably sat for a very long time with the screen just completely flattened. And that's created a weak spot in the, uh, in the screen. So, Got a couple little tears here, one right there, and then everything up up here is pretty good. It's a tiny little one there. I don't know if I'll address that or not. So this is not an idea that I found somewhere. Um, I have never, no one's ever told me to try this. I woke up this morning and had the thought, hmm, I wonder if I can super glue some of this mesh back together. Um, it's not gonna hurt anything to try it. So I thought, okay, let's give it a go. So what I've done is a uh, towel to protect the furniture, um, just to be sure nothing spills over on the leather ottoman or the couch. And then I've got a, a piece of uh, MDF, uh, white uh, shelving, MDF and then a piece of wax paper that I don't think that uh, super glue will stick to wax paper if it's anything like epoxy or any other glue out there doesn't stick so I am going to just dab a little bit of super glue on here and then see if I can just hold it like this for a couple of minutes and see what happens all right well here goes nothing Get those lined up. I'm just going to put a little dab. Just let it sit there. Now, super glue, I think, sets up in about 60 seconds. But there isn't much surface area here, so don't know how long this will really take. We're not doing any clamping pressure between the two. I'm just using... Uh, <laughs> just stretching out the the screen enough to make it sit flush or flat on the wax paper. So I have no idea how long this is going to take. Well, it's been uh, about five minutes. Uh, there is no indication that the super glue is going to dry without some sort of contact or pressure between pieces. So this is not an idea that works. It looks like uh, my best option is probably going to be just a little patch. So I'll have to run to the hardware store and see what I can find or maybe order something on Amazon, but that's kind of a bummer. I hate how patches look, but I just want to keep it from ripping further because the screen everywhere else is in very good condition. All right, so it's a couple days later. 
I'm going to take a different approach on fixing these screens. I ordered some screen repair patches off of Amazon. And I think what I'm going to do is because these uh, tears are all in a straight line, there's no holes, they're just tears, I'm going to cut off just the uh, edge here that has the adhesive. And I think I'm just going to stick that strip of adhesive right on the on the tear because I mean the instructions say to cut away the part that's that's um, damaged and then stick a whole patch on well if I do that then I'm gonna have four sides of it of screen with it with adhesive on it versus just having a single strip of adhesive so let's see how this works all right we've got several different uh, sizes here Got a bunch of them that are this big, which will work. And then several that are, uh, well, basically the same size screen area, just uh, cut into four sections. So I will set these aside for use later. We'll put those back in the package and just keep those on hand. If you follow the instructions, set this down what you would do is mark out this area where the replacement screen is going to go. Lift this up, cut that out, stick this back down, and then you've got new screen here, but you still have adhesive all the way around. So what I'm, what I'm intending to do is remove the adhesive backing, stick it down right there, so all you're going to see is a strip of screen with adhesive on it. And I'm doing this on the outside because if you do it on the inside, the adhesive is going to be exposed to the elements, rain, sun, that sort of thing. So I think doing it this way will make it last much longer. So I'm going to cut this brand new screen patch into four sections. All right, so there's the cutout strip. Um, I've heard in, uh, or I've read that in the reviews of this uh, screen repair kit, that the adhesive yeah. is very, very strong and it wants to come off on the paper or with the paper. But hopefully I can get the paper off without sacrificing the adhesive because people have reported that they've ruined two or three patches just by trying to take the paper off. All right, so I'm really struggling with getting this strip of paper off uh, without pulling adhesive up. So what I've done is gone back to the screen, uh, the, gone back to the patch, and I was able to lift, uh, lift the tab up here with my finger uh, and peel this back. So I will just tear that off there, and then we'll come back and cut uh, the portion that has the adhesive on it. Got that now. Stretch the screen nice and taut and lay down the patch. Just like that. So now I know obviously you can see this, but in my opinion, a single strip is much better than seeing some very large screen patch like that. That's what this would have looked like had I used the entire patch. So as I said before, the screens are in really, really good shape, except for where this was folded for quite some time and just has some little tears in it. So I would rather spend $8 on, on a repair patch and have this little strip showing that honestly you're probably never even really going to notice it if you walk up to the boat and look at it to me this is a good worthwhile repair i think this is going to last a long time and i'm not going to have to worry about uh, replacing these screens for quite some time all right here is the uh, finished product i think this is going to look much better when it's actually on the boat but with the white background you can obviously see it very easily however if i take the board away disappears a little bit better so 
I'm happy with this the way it is. Being against the edge, right up against the seam here, um, I'm not really gonna worry about it. If it was in the middle, I probably would look at replacing the screen, but being that all the tears are right up against the edge, or up against the seam there, and down here, I'm not gonna worry about it. So thanks for watching this episode of Clifford Winter Maintenance. Hope this helps you out. If you have any uh, screen issues, very easy fix. We'll see you on the water soon. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, send me some comments, and we'll uh, see you next time. Happy boating, everybody.